Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with game three of our series between the 89 Kansas City Royals and the 68 Baltimore Orioles. If you recall, the series is currently tied at one game apiece. And so, and this is a best of five series, second round best of five series. So, the team that wins today has the upper hand. Today the series moves to Baltimore. As you can see over here, I've got my scoreboard. The Royals are the visiting team, so they're the top team going across on the scoreboard, and the Orioles are the, the home team. So they're the bottom team on the scoreboard, so that anytime you uh, might step away from the video and then come back to it, you can see what the score is, assuming you didn't stop the video which you should. I'm just saying. So anyway, we're going to, the lineups will be about the same, so I don't think there's any changes really to any either lineup. So we're going to have Willie Wilson leading off. Today, pitching for the Orioles will be Jim Harden. And in 1968, Jim Harden was 18 and 13 with a 251 earned run average in 244 innings pitched. And Willie Wilson steps in against him, and he gets a 6-4, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Belanger, and he's a two, and that will be an out. And also, let me make sure that I made that change. Yeah, let's put him down in the bottom. I left the pinch hitter from last game in the lineup, but I also left Belanger in there, so. Kevin Seitzer is up with one down. He gets a 1-9, which is a single. So Kevin Seitzer getting a board, Harden giving up a hit, and that is a hit for the Royals. George Brett is up. He gets a 1-5, which is a pop out to second, two away. This was near the end of George Brett's career, 1989, and Bo Jackson is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. That's Harden's first strikeout, and the Royals get nothing. In the first, we go to the bottom of the first inning. The Orioles send up Paul Blair as the first batter, and today on the mound for the Royals will be Charlie Liebrandt. Now, Charlie Liebrandt in 1989 was not all that great. He was 5-11 and with a 5.14 earned run average in 161 innings. But he hasn't pitched in a tournament yet, so he's pitching today. And that's a 5-9, which is a pop-out to first for Blair. One down. Buford is up. He gets a 4-7. That's going to be a triple one or a single. <clears throat> and it turns out that that is a single. And that, or a single for the Orioles. And so that's a hit for the Orioles. And a hit allowed by Liebrand. And it's a hit for Buford. Got to, got to record it in all kinds of places. Frank Robinson's up. He gets a 4-3. That's a catcher card X. That's McFarland because he's in for the injured Bob Boone. And he's a 4. And that is a roll of a 9. 9 and 4 on the catcher is safe at first on dropped pop-up. So, that is an error for the Royals. And Frank Robinson reaching by the air. And the air credited to McFarland. <clears throat> Boo Powell is up. He gets a 6-5. And that's a single. And the lead runner is Buford. He's a running one to 16. And the ball goes to the right fielder. The single was to right field. The right fielder, however, is, well, that's Eisenreich. Huh. He's not that great of an arm. He's 
He's a zero arm, so it'll be a 1 to 16 coming home. And it's a 16 right on the nose. And so he does come home. <laughs> so guess what? He scores. <laughs> so anyway, that is another hit for the Orioles. And it is a run for the Orioles. Um, yeah. And, uh, and that was Powell. With the hit and the RBI. The hit given up by Lee Brandt and the run. And so now the, the Orioles have runners at first and second with still only one out in Davy Johnson up. And he gets a 4-9 and that's a fly ball right field. So he's out. And that brings up Kurt Bleffery and he pops out to second. The Orioles only get the one run, so it's a good thing they sent him, I suppose. They sent Buford because that's all they got. We go to the top of the second with the score, one nothing O's. Eisenreich steps up, his throw to the plate almost got Buford, but not quite. And that's a 110, that's a pop out, one away. Danny Tartable gets a 4-5, and that's a ground ball to second, so he's out. And that brings up Mike McFarlane, and he gets a 6-10, and that is a catcher card X. And the catcher for the Orioles is Andy Etchebarren, and he's a 3. That's a 13 and a 3, and that's a foul out. <clears throat> so McFarlane is out, and I need my coffee. And uh, the uh, Royals get nothing in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. <clears throat> Brooks Robinson is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to third, and he's out. Brooksy out. Andy Etchebarren gets a 1-9, and that's a strikeout. First strikeout for Lee Brandt. And Mark Belanger gets a 2-6, and that's a ground ball third base B. And he is out. Top of the third. And Frank White will step in against Harden. He gets a 5-3, which is a fly ball to right. The right fielder is, for the Orioles, is... Buford and he's a two. That is a 12 and that is an out. One away. Fly out to right by White. Kurt Stillwell <coughs> is up and he gets a 5-10. That's a ground ball to third. That's Brooks Robinson. We know he's a one. That's a 17 and that is an out. Two away. Stillwell is out. And Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson gets a 3-9, which is a fly ball left field. So we go to the bottom of the third. And we got Paul Blair coming up, and he's got a 2-11, which is a ground ball second base. One away. Let me just update the scoreboard to get us to where we're in the third. Buford is up, 6-3. That's a fly to left. The left fielder is um, Bo Jackson, and he's a one. And that's a 13. That's probably an out, I would imagine. And it is. Oh, wait a minute. And it is. Two away. And Frank Robinson step into the plate and getting a 1 8, which is the ground ball to the shortstop. And it's surprising how the 68 Orioles lineup has kind of been 
more or less shut down by the Royals. I mean, they did have that outburst in the last game of, like, I think three or four runs in the ninth inning. But um, for the most part, because they only won game one, won nothing. But they, uh, yeah, four runs in the ninth inning last game. Um, Kevin Seitzer steps in. We are in the top of the fourth. Four nine is a single one or a line out to second base. And that is going to be a line out to second base for Seitzer, Elka Seitzer. George Brett gets a one eight. That's a ground ball shortstop. He's out. And Bo Jackson. Bo knows that he's got a triple one to seven or a single. And that'll be a single for Bo Jackson. That's only Kansas City's second hit. Oh no, I gave him an error. Dang. See, that's what I mean. You touch the wrong thing, and uh, and you know, and I don't think I can get it back to zero. I don't think there's any way to get it back to zero, and I don't want to experiment with it right now. So Bo Jackson with a hit, only his second hit of the series. And only the second hit off of Harden. And 4-5 uh, for Eisenreich is a ground ball to second base. So Eisenreich is out. And no runs come in for the Royals there. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. And Boo Powell is up. He gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball center field. One of, or wait a minute. It's a fly ball. It is. It's the same thing on both cards. So. Boo Powell is out. Davey Johnson gets a 4-7, which is a triple one or a single. Where'd the dice go? There it is. Right in front of me. And that's going to be a single for Davey Johnson. So that's another, that's another hit for the Orioles. Third hit allowed by Liebram, but really he's been pitching well overall. Kurt Bleffery gets a 4-8. That's a home run 1-7 to seven, or a fly ball to left field. And it will be a fly ball deep to the left fielder. Bleffery out. And that's two down. And Brooksy, Brooks Robinson up and he lines out to, or no, he gets a fly ball. Fly ball to left field. Brooksy. And no runs come in for the Orioles and they maintain just a slim 1-0 lead over the Orioles or over the Royals as we go to the top of the fifth. Danny Tartable gets a 6-9 and that is a home run 1-13 and that is Deep and out of here, and there we've got a tie game. The Royals get a hit, and they get a run. And they tie the game. So Tartable with a deep shot. Harden gives up his third hit, first homer, first earned run. McFarland's up. That's a 6-6. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman's Davey Johnson, and he's a 2. That's a 9. Probably going to be an out. And it is. One away. Frank White up. 5-9. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Stillwell comes up, and he's got a 5-9, which, as we just established, is a strikeout. But the Royals do get the tying run in the fifth, and we go to the bottom of the fifth, all tied at one. This series has really been very, very close. The Orioles won game one, one nothing, and then the Royals won game two, five to four. And here we are tied at one, going to the bottom of the fifth, 
of the um, third game. Etcher Baron gets a 2 7, which is a double 1 to 14 or a single. And that will be a double. That's a big hit off of Libran. Etch Baron with the hit. And I believe that would be the fourth hit. Yep. Mark Belanger's up. That's a 410. And that's a fly ball to center. The center fielder is Willie Wilson, and he's a two. That is a four. And that is and out, one away. Belanger retired. Paul Blair up, he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout, two away. I mean, it's not like you can take Lebron out, he's doing well. Buford comes up and that's a 5-4, ground ball, third base. The third baseman for this team, unfortunately, I believe, is a bad fielder, and it is. It's Seitzer, and he's a four. And that is a 15 and a four at third base, which is a one base error. So, and I already recorded an error erroneously for the Royals, so we'll leave that up there, and now that scoreboard is caught up. You for getting on by an error. In the air by Seitzer. And Frank Robinson comes up and he gets a 5-4. And that's going to be a third base X. And that is, again, he's a 4. Not good. 8 and 4 is an out with no runners. He just barely makes the play and they get, he gets the team out of the inning. And not that if a run had scored, it would have been Lebrand's fault there. But they didn't. So we go to the top of the sixth in a um, tie game at one. Willie Wilson, the top of the order, is up. And that's a 5-10, which is a ground ball to third. Now their third baseman is a gold glover, and that is the main man, um, Brooks Robinson, and that's a roll again. And that is going to be an out, right? Yep. So Wilson was retired, and Seitzer's up. 6-8 is a fly ball left, so he's out. Scoreless, or not a scoreless pitcher, but a tie game pitcher duel here between Harden and Lebron. And a 1-4 for Brett is a single 1-9. And it is a single for George Brett with two down and another hit for the Royals and another hit given up by Harden and Bo Jackson gets a 1-9 and that's a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Harden. We go to the bottom of the sixth tied at one. The tension is hanging in the air. Boob Powell is a 1-9, and that's a fly ball right. So Boob Powell is retired, one away. Davey Johnson gets a 5-4. That is a third base X. Those third base X's are going to kill him. 19 and a 4 is an out, though. Seitzer makes that play, too. So Davey Johnson, out. And that brings up Kurt Bleffery. 410. That's a center field X. Center fielder is a two. That's Willie Wilson. That is a one. If he was a one, it might have been an error, but no, it wouldn't have even been. That isn't anymore. Where is the error? The error is now at 18, I guess. But anyway, long story short, um, that is an out. So no runs for the Orioles. We go to the top of the seven. Jim Eisenreich will be batting. Still against Harden. 3-5. That's a triple 1-12 or a double. And that is a triple. 
Now that was a big hit right there. Hit for the Royals. For Eisenreich. Uh, the infield's going to come in for the Orioles. I don't like doing that, but they will. 1-2 is a fly ball right field. B by Tartable gets to run in anyway. So now, obviously, the outfield goes back. Tartable gets the uh, sacrifice fly RBI. And uh, the Royals get that run, and they take the 2-1 lead. One away, McFarland up, one four is a pop out to short, two away. But if you know anything about the Orioles from last game, you know not to count them out. 6-10, and it's only a one run lead anyway. 6-10 is a catcher card. X, Echebaron is a three. That's a 19, X and a three is roll again. That's a 20 and a three, roll again. That is a six and a three. And that's a safe at first on Aired Dribbler. So White gets aboard by an error. And that's the first error for the Orioles. And we give it to Echebaron, who had an error last game, as I recall, and he did. Stillwell, five, six, is a fly ball left field. So Stillwell is out. But the Royals strike for one in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh, Brooks Robinson up. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball center, one away. Andy Echebaron gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. This Orioles lineup is really uncharacteristically quiet. And then Belanger with a 4-7, which is a triple one or a single. And that is going to be a single for Belanger. First hit for him in the series, not surprisingly. And uh, so that is a hit for the Orioles. And they are going to, the Royals are going to look for their next relief pitcher. And that is going to be Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford up in the Kansas City pen warming up with Paul Blair up at the top of the order. And he gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball to third base, and he is out. So the Orioles get no runs in the seventh, and we stay, um, we stay in a score of 2-1 Royals leading as we go to the top of the eighth. And Willie Wilson up. He gets a 4-8 against Harden. That's a pop out to short. They're showing their confidence in Harden. Seitzer gets a 110, which is a double one to three or a single. And that is a double. So Seitzer with a big hit. First hit of the series for him. And it's a double. course we have to give that on the scoreboard and uh, one three for George Brett is a ground ball second base two away and Bo knows five eight he knows he's out fly ball to right field Bo Jackson no runs for the Royals and the uh, Royals are going to bring in a new reliever, a new pitcher, and a new reliever. And that'll be Steve Crawford for the moment. So Lee Brandt goes seven. 
allows only five hits, um, strikes out two, and allows no earned runs. And Buford will be the first Oriole to face him in the game. He gets a 2-6, which is a triple 1-4 to four or a single. And it will be a single. So Buford with a hit. Fifth hit of the series for Buford. And that brings up Frank Robinson, who walks. So Crawford allows the first two guys on. Got to believe that uh, Lee Brandt's a little upset to see that. Boog Powell, all the work that he did, 5-3, is a ground ball to the pitcher. Crawford is considered to be a 2 since there was no rating on those cards at that time. So that's a 4-2, which is an out 1. And now the Royals have to bring the infield in. They don't have any choice. With Davey Johnson up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball second baseman. The second baseman <clears throat> is um, Frank White, and he's a 2. That's a 3 and a 2. And that's an out 3, except that it, the infield was in, so it's an out, and there no run. the run doesn't score. Davey Johnson out, and now with two outs, the infield will go back. And Bluffery up, and he walks to load the bases. So here it is, two down, bases full of birds. Brooks Robinson up, 5-4, fly to center. Center is a 2. That is a 17. 17 and 2 is an out. And Brooks Robinson flies out harmlessly to end the eighth and we go to the catch the scoreboard up here we go to the top of the ninth Royals up in the top of the ninth leading by one and Mike Montgomery is warming up for the Royals in their bullpen, but Crawford got them out of the last inning, and so they're going to see if he can get them through the ninth. Or wait a minute. Well, it, it, well, he just actually he just pitched, so it's uh, yeah. Harden is still out there, so Harden is pitching against Eisenreich. Two five. That's a fly ball to center, one away. And why not? I mean, he really hasn't pitched that poorly. He's sure he's given up two runs, but. 2-7 is a strikeout for Tartable. And Harden strikes out his fifth guy. And McFarlane gets a 4-4, and that's a fly ball to center field. So, like I said, Harden really has not pitched that poorly. To, to this point in the game, he's gone nine innings, allowed only six hits, struck out five, and allowed two earned runs. But what we've got right now is the Orioles are up, and they are going to pinch hit four. Um, and like I said, Crawford is staying out there. However, Montgomery is still warming. And they will bring in Merv Rettenmond, as they did last game, to pinch hit. And as you remember, he got on. 4-3, that's a fly to left. Left field is Bo. Or no, left fielder is, yes, Bo, and he's a 1. That's an 18. And that is a safe at second on error, because that's the new card, the new uh, outfielding chart. So that's an error for, a big error for the Royals and for uh, Bo Jackson. And Maru gets on, Merv Rettenman gets on, and so if they if the Orioles can get that guy home, it's a it's a tie game. But now Belanger is up, you would think now they're gonna let him hit, and not only that, they're gonna sacrifice with him. Seven. Sacrifice, I think it works. Batter is thrown up by first baseman runners advance one. Yes, it does work. One away. And um, 
The uh, Royals are going to bring the infield in. Again, they don't have much of a choice. Blair is up. He gets a 3-11, which is a line out to shortstop, two away. And now they may not even be able to get that guy home. Don Buford is up. He gets a 3-4, and they don't. It's a strikeout. Buford strikes out to end the game. And that's how it ends with Crawford getting the K and getting the team out of the out of the the mess that they could potentially have been in. And the the score ends again a one run uh, um, difference in the game. It ends two to one Kansas City, and Kansas City takes a two games to one lead in the series. Incredible. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off.